the Poet Laureate of the South. Please join me in finally welcoming Pat Conroy. You come to the festival, you know, there are great writers here. And some of them don't know how well I know how famous they are. But these are terrific writers. You know, I saw Stuart O'Neill, Patricia Cohen. Uh, you know, I've seen friends of mine that I've met all over the place. And, you know, what I say about it is it's just great fun and great joy. And unlike me, some of these writers have real things to say. And they can impart knowledge and wisdom. I can't. So I just tell stories about my incredibly screwed up family. It's like a trip. Everybody is so exuberant and excited, and the people have been so fun. I've gotten at least 50, 60 hugs from people I didn't even know, and it's been great. I mean, the energy, the buzz, the feel, the vibe, it feels more like a concert than it does a book festival to me, you know? But it's been such a great, great experience. I don't think I have to recommend this festival to anybody because I think all authors know that this is one of the good ones, so they, they come. It, it's terrific. It's one of the best in the country, and, and the great thing about Savannah is this town has held on to the traditions and, and, the, and the beauty of it and, and added to it. The 2017 Savannah Book Festival is celebrating its 10th anniversary this year, and we're very pleased to be able to offer a, the probably most diverse slate of authors that we've ever had in the history of the festival. Folks like Lisa White, Stephanie Duttenhaber, Jack Romanos and Ann Higby have all been instrumental in getting the festival to where it is today. The whole idea hatched in the mind of Matt Prickett, who thought that the book festival would be ideally located in a town like Savannah with its rich literary history. And we're proud to have seen its evolution from a local festival to one that is a national celebration recognized for its love of the written word. Oh, I would say come here in a minute, but stay longer than I can this time because there's a lot to see and a lot to do. Well, I came back because I'm treated so well here. I mean, it's just wonderful. I mean, it's the, the people in the festival are terrific. Uh, they, give, they give each author a host, and the host is like your chauffeur and general, you know, knock about, get things done for you. And Scott Richards, who was mine, it just was wonderful. Took us to the beach, gets us places on time, and it's so well organized. I mean, I just, I, I tell other authors that, you know, if they say, well, what about Savannah? I say, you're never going to be treated better, that's for sure. It's really, really good for authors. In this 10th anniversary year, there are a lot of things about the festival we're proud of. We're proud of how the festival has grown. We're proud of the over 300 authors that we have able to sponsor during the 10-year history of the festival. We're proud to be able to offer people like Stephen King or Pat Conroy, uh, James Patterson, uh, Geraldine Brooks, people that are internationally known, Pulitzer Prize winners, or uh, New York Times bestsellers. Uh, we are proud to be able to, to offer these things to the public at a nominal cost, and with most of it's being free to the public. We're also proud to give back to the Savannah community. We have 19 authors going out into the schools this year, for example, through the SBF and Schools program. This year, we have a blockbuster bestseller uh, author and James Patterson coming back for a return engagement. We have the uh, National Book Award winner in Colson Whitehead. And in our first for the festival, we have Christina Baker-Klein debuting her latest novel at the festival for the very first time. Looking forward to another great festival. It's going to be a wonderful year, and I'm uh, excited to be able to lose myself in books once again. <laughs>